Hello everybody. My name is Tina Kistler and I am in room 102 in the high school. I teach Algebra 1, Algebra 1B, Foundations and, and Statistics. Uh, this is just a general overview of all the classes. Um, a few of specific certain things I'll state for classes, but pretty much general for all classes. Uh, I'm going to just go through the syllabus, is which I would have done if you would have come in, uh, if were able to come in for Meet the Teacher tonight. So, uh, supply list, uh, I recommend a binder with loose leaf paper or a five subject spiral notebook. Uh, you are Organize your notes where you want it, where you want your notes, where you want your homework. OK, I don't look at notes, but I do recommend that for all your notes on all your examples. Uh, writing utensils. If you're taking notes, you may use pencil or pen. That's up to you. Uh, when you're taking a test, if you're in house taking a test, I do prefer a pencil so that you can erase. Um, so pencil calculators. Beginning of the year, I am not going to provide a calculator only because of the cleaning and I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see how the year goes. So I do recommend if you would like just a basic calculator that you can have, especially for those at home. Um, I also have links to online calculators and when we're in class, I'll talk about an app that's actually on the phone called Calculator 84, which looks just like the 84s that we use in the classroom. Uh, so that's what I'm going to work with right now. We'll just see how the year goes um, in providing them in the classroom. Probably I'll reevaluate this uh, after the Christmas time. Uh, grading total points and the total points for all classes would be homework. I'll talk about that in a minute. Quizzes, tests, uh, algebra one will have something called a review test that I do for the first three marking periods and statistics would have uh, different projects throughout the year. Homework, OK, homework is not graded. Uh, it is worth one point per homework assignment depending on how many homework assignments we have in a marking period that would fluctuate. I do try to enter homework grade at least every three weeks so I get it in a few times before the end of the marking period. All right so again homework is not graded it's your practice. I do check to see that you have it completed so I do look at that but I don't grade it. Uh, I like it for practice and then hopefully it'll promote questions the next day if you're having trouble. Uh, I also usually almost all always have time at the end of the period that you can get the homework started and sometimes you have enough time to get almost all of it done maybe only a few problems left to do on your own okay so homework members practice that's so you get the idea or the concept of what we're doing in the classroom and that's for all classes all right resources that i'll be using uh, for the algebra classes delta math ixl study island all right so those will be the resources uh, uh, what we're going to do, we have three things that I'm going to lean on, whether you're in the building or virtual. Sapphire will be for grades. OK, so if you want to check grades, that's going to be your Sapphire. Moodle is going to be your resource go to. All right, uh, on Moodle, you'll find links to online calculators. Uh, for the algebra group, you'll see links to the Delta Math IXL Study Island. Uh, if I find any other programs that I'd like to use throughout the year, I will put those links on also. Statistics, you're going to see links to resources that will help you as we're going through the chapters. Uh, there are some videos to watch. Uh, there's guided notes. Uh, the algebra and all the classes, you will find the PowerPoints there. All right, so Moodle is going to be your resource go to. OK, if you're looking for a link for something, that's where you're going to go. Teams. That's going to be your daily go to for all your assignments. Uh, well, I will be live streaming my class. So on Teams, I will set up the meeting. Uh, I will turn on my webcam when we're doing the assignment so that you can watch the class if you're an at home student. Uh, if you're here, um, you'll get it personally. Uh, your assignments will be on there. I, if I'm using a PowerPoint, I will attach the PowerPoint. Uh, if there is a video, so for some reason, I will attach that homework. OK, homework assignments you'll find on Teams also. Now, if you're at home, uh, you need to download the document, do the homework and submit the homework on Teams. 
Now, in the spring, what I did was, uh, and I know math sometimes is hard to do on the computer. So a lot of the students would do the math in their notebook, take a picture with their phone and submit the picture. That's fine. Most of my documents I try to have as a Word document. There are some PDF documents. OK, so that at home kids, if you want to do it in your notebook, take a picture. Uh, with your phone and submit the picture, that's fine also. So at home kids need to submit their homework so that I can check to see your progress and I can respond and comment. So if you do submit something, make sure you look back to see if there was any comments um, on that. If you're in the classroom, I uh, do it in your notebook and uh, I will check the next day in the classroom and then we'll go through the answers. OK, and that's also with the at home kids. Uh, if you um, sign in during the class and you check out the web live stream, you'll see the answers too. But I like to see your work. I want to know how you're doing, if you have any problems, uh, if there's anything we need to dis discuss. Uh, at the at home kids, um, we can also do this. Uh, talk live with we, one another if you have any questions. Um, and I am available here in the classroom and I'm available online too. And I want to be able to help you as much as possible through all this. All right, uh, I am still going to try Try to use Remind. I like that because it comes up on your phone. And I basically use Remind to um, let you know when there's a test coming up, test or quizzes. Now, this syllabus is also on my Moodle page. OK, so everybody should sign on to Moodle and check out your syllabus for your class because on your class it gives the Remind code. OK, so I have my Algebra 1B syllabus here in front of me. I have the enter the code 81010 and then at E36864 is what you'd send in your text message and that way you're connected in to my remind. So I highly recommend uh, you doing that. Parents are also welcome to do this also if they would like to be part of the remind. Uh, you can do that also and I've had parents in the past that have also gone through the remind. I know the teams is what we can use to correspond back and forth with and we'll do that, but I still want to try to use this remind also. And extra help. OK, again, if you're in a building and you want to set up a time to come see me, even this before school or after school, if it's after school, I just ask that you let me know so that I know to stay. Uh, or if we can do this online chatting, we can either do it um, face to face through the teams or we can do it by chatting with the uh, chat feature on Teams. Remember, Teams is really what you want to look at. That's you should be in the habit of going to Teams every day for all your classes to get your assignments. All right. And as we're supposed to say, don't forget to if you're an at home student uh, to go on to Sapphire okay, and log in there. So attendance wise, uh, they know that you're working at home, you're online and doing your assignments there too. If you have any questions again through the chat on Teams, uh, would be a place to go or you can email me and my email address is on the um, syllabus also. Now the fir first day of school, if you're an at home student, uh, even if you're at, in this classroom, uh, I'm going to have a code that will come up and you're going to enroll yourself into my class on Teams and I'll do that the first day of school. So I'll have it up on the board when I do the live streaming. So if you're at a home student, or you're at school, uh, there is going to be a code so that you can enroll yourself into my team's class, whether you're Algebra 1, 1B, Foundations, or Statistics. And that will enroll you in my teams. Now, if you have trouble enrolling in teams, just let me know and I can do it myself. But this way, everybody can do it on their own. OK. All right, looking forward to a great year. Uh, I hope you're all doing well at home. And as I always said last year, stay safe, stay healthy. And we look forward to seeing you next Tuesday. Take care.